the reading blog of mine. My name is Kishwar Zubair and I am at my hospital right now. That's why my voice is echoing. It's really quiet here. Also because today is Rang Panchmi. So first of all, happy Holi and happy Rang Panchmi to all of my friends who are celebrating. But because it's Rang Panchmi, it's actually a holiday. That's why it's this quiet. Um, but like they say, a doctor is never off duty so I didn't get an off I do get offs I usually get them on weekdays I don't get them on festivals and Sundays like most people do but anyways um, because it's a holiday the OPDs are closed and there is not much work to do I took my round did all the paper and file works and now I'm free and I knew I'm going to be free and that's why I bought a book with me. It's this book, Racing in the Rain by Garth Steen. It's a really short book. It's a middle grade edition or middle grade version of the book, The Art of Racing in the Rain. I mistakenly picked up this book. I thought it's The Art of Racing in the Rain, but it turns out that it's the, it's, it's, it's the middle grade version or the young adult version. But it's okay, I have this book, so I thought why not give it a read. So yes, I have a few hours to, to read this book and I think I will finish it today, inshallah. So let's start reading. I'm sorry, one more thing that I forgot to tell you is that this is not how I go in front of my patients. I actually tie my hair up in a pony or bun before I visit them. I combed my hair to short this video. So yeah, just clarifying a little bit. Alright guys, so I finished 77-78 pages of this book and the story is told from the perspective of a dog named Enzo whose owner is a race car driver because of which Enzo also develops a liking for cars and race and race tracks and he considers life as a race and everything that happens around him he he, he applies the rules of racing to, you know, face uh, the problems and challenges that is coming in his direction right now. Right now, we I got introduced to Enzo's family and how he's adjusting with the new newer changes that's coming in his life by applying the rules of racing and all. So, yes. Uh, this book is nice it's funny at times it's not like really funny but yes it's funny and it's enjoyable let's see how I like it right now I am thinking to go to canteen to have a samosa and chai so let's go with me <music> Okay guys.
guys so i finished 50% of this book and it's going great i mean it's not an awesome read but it's not a bad read either it's a good book it's a good read i am enjoying the book but not like really it's not like really interesting or anything the story is bitter sweet and it's filled with emotions it's more like a family drama only told from the perspective of a dog so yeah i'm i'm writing it but now i'll have to take around because there are some patients who have some issues so i'll have to look at them i'll continue reading rest of the book at home so yeah finished reading this book last evening but then i slept so couldn't record the video so i'm shooting it now and i'm feeling really awesome it feels really great to finish a book it's it feels like ages ever since 2022 started and ever since i've taken up this new job i'm really struggling with my reading thing i mean i am reading but not as much as i did last year or as much as i usually do and it feels like it's been such a long time since i finished a book i mean i did uh, read i was i was reading here and there i was reading the grimm's fairy tales but then i got tired after a, you know when i reached 50% of that book so i put it back but because i decided that i won't quit reading that book so i do read it i read it every now and then one or two stories at a time but i'm still at 400 something page and after that i read the dip by seth godin i hope i'm pronouncing the name of the author right but it's such a good book i loved it it was a self help book but it was really short i did finish it in a day i guess but it was around 50 something pages i read it in a pdf but yes i highly recommend that book if you're the kind of person who thinks that self help books are long and boring and repetitive then it's the kind of book that you need it's really short and it's to the point also if you're the kind of person who haven't read any self help book and want to get into that genre then you are going to love that book now let's talk about this book So I've already told you enough about this book and my perspective hasn't changed much. I mean, I did enjoy this book. It's filled with emotions and it got some really inspiring and motivational quotes and lines and the story is also good. But <clears throat> one thing that didn't work out for me was that it 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 had descriptions of racing and cars and race tracks and I am not at all interested in those stuff so I was kind of bored but other than that it's a good read if you are the kind of person who is interested in those stuffs then you will enjoy it more and yeah it's a good read it's a good book I think I will pick up its original version there's this book called The Art of Racing in the Rain I think it's the adult version I will definitely read it I think I am going to like it too and I also want to see how different it is from this book so yeah <coughs> So that's it for today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment your opinions on this book or anything else that you want to talk to me about you can leave in the comment section other than that you can follow me on my Instagram handle and we can interact there as well i am very active there as well so yes and if you like this video and if you like bookish videos then you should definitely subscribe to my channel and i'll come up with more vlogs in which you will find out if a book is worth your time or not so yeah till then take care of yourself and be a good human being and goodbye Bye.